Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we are now in a bit of a serious situation worldwide here with the coronavirus. So unfortunately many of us, some hopefully, aren't affected as many as others, but um, obviously it's a bit of a worrying time. So we're gonna do some self-isolating, as you can see, I'm at home, back garden. So we're obviously gonna be doing some uh, daily swing tip videos for you. Just trying to help you to sort of work on your game while you're at home. So a lot of these tips will be all based around what we can do at home. Uh, try and keep it a little bit fun as well and hopefully work on your games. Okay, so the first tip I'm going to give you today is first part of the golf swing, the takeaway. Really important part of the swing to really get the swing off on a good uh, step. So a little bit of wood here, obviously you can maybe find something like this in the garage at home or you can maybe use like a sleeve of golf ball, something like that. And we're going to position it behind the club head and sort of going to work on taking the club head back nice and square in relation to that target line. Okay, so probably one of the biggest faults a lot of golfers will make is through the initial movement away of that club head away from that golf ball. So a lot of guys would maybe sort of take the club away and sort of pull it inside and around themselves. Obviously that creates issues throughout the whole swing then because generally they get a little bit flat. They then start to come over the top and we know what the problems that can sort of create. The other aspect you've got as well is some, some players may take the club a little bit too far outside. Okay, so that then generally encourages more of an arm sort of pick up and obviously less than rotation in that upper body. So the first movement away from the golf ball is quite important. So this little drill here actually um, brings back a few memories when I was an amateur as a junior, actually a junior national golf tour playing down at Chart Hills in Kent. Um, I actually had a lesson the day before at uh, which was then the Ledbetter Academy and this drill was actually um, given to me in that particular lesson and I went out the next day and shot 400 par gross and actually won the event so this obviously very much stuck with me and I think it's a great little drill just to keep an idea of where the actual club head is moving away from that golf ball. So we've got this piece of wood, a little bit 3b2 uh, position behind the ball and all we're simply going to do here is just trying to kind of push that piece of wood straight back so you can see as I do that it doesn't twist at all so if I was to make that movement what we just talked about before maybe coming a little bit on the inside what you'll see happen is the wood will twist okay you can see that twist quite quickly there and vice versa if we go a little bit on that outside it will twist the other way okay so it does a couple of things obviously helps you to concentrate on keeping that club head coming straight back from that golf ball also does it a little bit slow so if you get a little bit quick and taking that back you can see obviously the wood's going to really uh, move away quite quickly isn't it so we can just really try and get the sensation keeping that takeaway sort of smooth straight back up to the top and then down back into that impact okay so as i say if you haven't got a piece of wood maybe just a sleeve of golf ball something like that something that sort of long sort of shape in a way that you can just sort of keep a little eye on start working that takeaway there try and groove that sort of square takeaway and it really gets you in a good position to to let the swing carry on on more of a natural sort of path okay guys hope that little tip helps you as i say i'm going to be posting some daily swing tips hopefully you can sort of work on your golf swing while you're maybe self-isolating at home hope you're all staying safe and looking after yourselves and your loved ones hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon